Hello Aries, I hope you're feeling fantastic today. If you're not, you will be, just you wait. <laughs> okay, and this is going to be your energy reading for July 2024. So let's get straight into it. I know you wanna know what's going on. Okay, so let's get into it. I pulled an Oracle card, three tarot cards, and an Oracle card to conclude your reading. So let's, ooh, pick up your first card. <laughs> your first card, you have Clover. Luck, gambling, opportunity, chance, hope, small happiness. Okay, so I'm already feeling an energy. As soon as I read small happiness, I feel like for your July 2024 Aries, you're going to be really feeling <clears throat> lucky for one, but I do feel like you're going to be more, um, you're going to be embracing more of the little accomplishments and then this, like the small things, you know, really appreciating the small things. Cause I feel like for you Aries there, you maybe have experienced or are experiencing um, a feeling of unfulfillment, 111 on the clock, uh, just feeling a little bit like, I feel like you Aries, you have big dreams, you have big goals, okay? But it does take time for you to get from point A to point B, which is your your huge goals. And so I feel like sometimes maybe you feel like that it it's impossible to get in or to obtain or attain this big achievement or goal. But I feel like for your July of 2024, you're going to be really feeling um, accomplished with the small goals that are leading you to the big goal. Okay. It's because I feel like there's a part of you, like the, the spirit part of you, right? The, the, the part that's inside, I feel like the fairies inside you. Okay. I feel like you're connected to fairies and I feel like they're like within you, like butterflies might may be significant for you because I feel like the fairies are uh, connected to the butterfly. So you may be seeing butterflies. Yeah, see like this clover almost looks like a butterfly, right? And then there's a little butterfly up top there as well. So I feel like, yeah, you do have this, this fairy energy um, exuding off of your energy, you know, I can feel like you're connected to like the fairies. And so with that being said, within your energy, I'm feeling like these fairies that you're connected to are very excited. Okay. And they're trying to get you excited too, right now. You know, they, they want you to be excited now and not hold in your excitement or feeling of accomplishment until you get to the big goal. They want you to feel the accomplishments now because there are small goals that you're obtaining or that you're attaining that should be um, praised by you, okay? Um, by you, yeah, yeah. So the more that you can praise yourself, the more you're gonna start seeing praise on the outside of yourself, if that makes sense, Aries. That's what I'm feeling for you for your July of 2024, is that you're gonna start feeling more excited and accomplished within the small goals that you're achieving. 333 three, three on the clock. Okay, that could be significant for you as well. Um, yeah. I just feel like your fairies are super excited and super like giggly and like excited because you are taking the steps to that big goal. You're achieving the big goal. That's what they're telling me. They're telling me you are achieving that big goal that you want so badly, Aries. You are achieving it. You are on the timeline where the end of the end of the timeline you're currently on will lead to, I say ending because that's just, that's not the ending. You will continue to do a lot more great things that you don't even realize you're going to be doing. Okay. So at the end, I say, so yeah, I say end because of how you're perceiving this end goal. It's kind of like linear, but uh, the fairies are like, it's, it's not over after that. But so that's exciting. So you have that to, um, look forward to. And so they just want you to feel the excitement of the timeline that you're on where you are, have, and will achieve what you want, this big goal. Okay, let's move on to your tarot cards and see what else you have. Okay, we have the tower card. Okay, we have the 10 of cups. Wow. <sighs> That feels wonderful. 
And then we have the death card. Wow, 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 Aries, my goodness gracious. We have another, not a butterfly, but a moth. They're they're similar. I'm not 100% sure what the difference between the um, symbolism of the moth versus the butterfly. They're, I know they're sim similar. I feel like, the, okay. The, I feel like, what's the, the moss, what is it? I feel, I've, I felt something. <laughs> I felt the difference for a moment. Sometimes it's not always easy for me to articulate <laughs> the feelings immediately, <laughs> but the, the moth, yeah, it does have this association with kind of like the death and like endings, but so does the butterfly. It's like transformation, right? Okay, anyways, we know transformation. We know that you're connected to the fairies. We know that you're go you're going through a transformation. It looks like a rebirth right now. Okay, so let's break down your tarot cards. We have the Tower, Ten of Cups, and the Death card. So we have the Ten of Cups card, which is about like a wish fulfillment, dreams coming true, things working out, and being able to enjoy... Um, happiness with friends and family. It's like a happy ending, a fairy tale happy ending, right? But we also have the tower card in conjunction with the death card here, okay? They're on the outside of this like fairy tale ending. So in order for this fairy tale ending to happen for you, there are some things that need to um, come down. There's some things that need to break down and um end okay you know things have to the faulty foundation has to come down and end bef uh right break down the breakdown of the old and then kind of laying that old stuff to rest so that you are able to um enjoy this ten of cups energy okay let's get a little bit more um uh what's it called <laughs> Let's get deeper into what this situation is about what's what's ending for you to be able to experience this like fairy tale ending. Spirit, can you give us some more? Um, can you elaborate, please, on this energy of the Tower and Death card for Aries for their July 2024? Please, thank you so much. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so you have the Seven of Cups. You have alchemy. I'm not sure. That's a that's a major arcana card. I'm not 100% sure what that is exactly. This is a new deck, so that's why I got my trusty notebook here to tell me what the heck these cards are that I don't know. Ooh, that's the first one. Okay, let's see. 14 is temperance, of course, of course. Okay, so we have the seven of cups, alchemy, aka temperance. And we have the Six of Swords. Interesting. Okay. Six of Swords, Temperance, Seven of Cups. Okay. So it feels like... Um, what? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So it feels like... Let's see. We got the Temperance card. Six of of swords okay interesting so i feel like with the seven of um the seven of cups huh it's like you can't there's like something that you can't decide are things seem a little bit chaotic a little bit just a little bit though. I feel like there's something that, sh there are things maybe that may be distracting you. Okay, I, I, I honestly feel like this isn't even really anything that you have to try too hard to like figure out for you to be able to get to this 10 of cups energy. It's, it feels like it's happening very naturally with your intentions. I feel like you have a devotion to this like, 
you have a devotion to something, whether it's a way you want to be, whether it's like you want your body to be healthy or you want to look toned and good, or you want to be able to, um, to be more productive or you want to, you know, you want, there's things about, I feel like your life that you want to be better at. And because you have that intention, it's like happening naturally for you, uh, things that aren't working for you or things that are distracting you from a big goal or even the smaller goals. There are some distractions here that are going to be falling away naturally. So expect that because we also have the alchemy card, which is temperance, which is kind of balancing. Um, it feels like it's like balancing <laughs> the good and the bad, like or balancing what's good for me versus like maybe things that I still like to partake in, but are not necessarily good for me. Kind of balancing between like allowing yourself to um, indulge in certain things, but also like knowing when it's time to like focus, okay? And I feel like you're really leaving with the Six of Swords, which represents kind of moving away from a, a mindset. I feel like you are naturally moving away from anything that's distracting you or anything Anything that is going to slow you down, you're going to be aware of it. It's going to be apparent to you because of your intentions to get to a certain goal are so strong. So it's going to, you're, you're really just kind of sharpening yourself. You know, you're, you're not, a, you're, this is what I just saw. Like there's like a, a, you know, a pencil where you have to sharpen that hasn't been sharpened at all. It's just like a flat pencil that you have to like completely sharpen. You're already a tip. You just need to sharpen like like you're already like been sharpened you just need to be sharpened a little bit more for it to be like that super fine tip so I feel like you're on the brink of a breakthrough I honestly do for you Aries so but your fairies your fairy guides are telling you to just to live in the moment and to enjoy what's in front of your face now because you've already achieved what you want to in the timeline that you're currently in okay that's what i'm feeling for you aries for your july of 2024 let's see what your concluding card is you have the strength card and it says today i maintain control of my emotions <clears throat> that might be something that you you're working on also that is you're doing it you're doing it today i maintain control of my emotions i rise above self-doubt I affirm my own power and stand strong in my unshakable faith. Today, I know that I have the strength to overcome anything I encounter. I find my courage in the truth, holding tight to the force of love. I triumph over fear. Okay, and that's what it looks like. That's awesome. Go for you, Aries. I felt strength within your reading when I first started it. It just, you're already, you're on the right track. You're on the, you're fast on the right track. So just keep going, live in the moment, enjoy the little things, enjoy today, enjoy what's in front of you. And you're, before you know it, you're going to be exactly where you want to be. All right, Aries, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comments if this resonated with you. Um, if you like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already to see more videos like this. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can find my email in the description box below. Um, 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 and that is all I have today. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye!